All right, guys, we are back for another vehicle review. This one's a little bit different because this vehicle isn't like finalized and it's not done. As you can see, it is missing some parts up front, but basically, I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory of what this vehicle is, why I'm showing it to you, and uh, kind of the future for this vehicle because it's got some great potential. So, first off, First off, obviously it's not done. Like I said, there's missing some parts up front. And then you can see right now, it's all kind of combinations of dark bluish gray and light bluish gray parts in the final kit. So that's kind of another part of this. This might be a future kit on my website is this would either be all dark bluish gray or all light bluish gray. It's probably gonna be all dark bluish gray because, because it's more accurate. If you guys didn't know by the title already, this is a Lego Halo Warthog and um, it's more accurate in dark bluish gray from what I've seen, but I might offer it in light bluish gray, but I highly doubt that. It'll probably be in this dark bluish gray color scheme here, simply because parts are cheaper, it's more accurate overall, just makes everyone happy. So, like I said, missing the kind of the front part of this, basically where I got this was, I think it was Bricks, Brick Fair 20, oh, this was not last year, so it had to have been 2017. Basically, so Brick Fair, Virginia in 2017, my good buddy Sean, TR Legos fan, he gave this to me, or actually I bought it from him for like, I don't know, I think it was like $5. He was just trying to get rid of it and it wasn't complete. He actually gave me a figure with it too. I think that's somewhere sitting on one of my shelves. But I went ahead and put one of my Mark V Spartans in there just to sh show what it would look like with one of my Halo figures in there. Make sure it all fits with the armor, you know, because the armor adds a little bit of bulk to the minifigure. But basically, he sold it to me and uh, it's like, I think he said like 40% his design, and then like the other 60% is Saber Scorpion's design. Now, I messaged or I emailed Saber Scorpion on, just through his website, and we were talking, and if I, if my memory is correct, I haven't checked this in like a year or two, but he said, you know, it's totally fine if I use this because it's not like completely his design. I think he wanted me to just mention his name in like the description of the product, or maybe put his name on the box, which I'm totally fine with doing that, but, uh, so yeah, this is the design. Like I said, it's not complete. I gotta figure out what I wanna do for this kind of this front windshield. But uh, other than that, once I get it all in one color, you know, this back, it's missing a little, you know, some pieces here, but the turrets there, the, uh, the way the wheels work is all good. Um, let's get that back in there. But uh, it's very tricky from what I've seen to get the wheels to, sit at this height as well as these actually articulate. I don't know if the, actually yeah, both of them do. So they both articulate, you can see that. And uh, there actually is suspension. So it's kind of the best of both worlds as far as that goes because you're getting suspension. So if I, I don't think I have anything. Well, like if I put this underneath the wheel, you know, it still is keeping an even gap between all the wheels and it looks good. And then, like I said, you can turn like those wheels that way and you can turn these wheels however you want. So it gives it a lot of playability and um, it also, you know, it rolls really well. So uh, that's great for like stop motion purposes. And then also for if you guys actually, you know, want to play around with this, you can, which is a great feature. So I don't know, basically what, what it's coming down to is once I get this finalized, which will be, it'll be all in one color, I'll have the windshield designed, the back end will be fixed. I just realized the turret fell off. I'll just remove that for the rest of this video. But um, once this is finalized, I'll have to you know price out the parts, see how much it's actually gonna cost for me to make and then sell it to you guys. I think I could get this to you guys under $50 and I like to include like, a figure to like maybe I don't know two Spartans two or three Spartans actually I mean at that point I might as well include three because you would have a driver a passenger and then a gunner you would have to have a gunner and then maybe even some grunts so I might do like a full-on little halo kit with this but uh, that's kind of where my head's at I want to do more kits and I also want to expand not only doing World War One and World War Two kits but I'd like to do like some halo kits to go along with my halo figures because I know like the halo armor is very popular you know I sell it individually as well you know different colors and whatnot and uh, it's very popular, and I think that that means there's a lot of potential for Halo kits that you guys would actually enjoy to go with the Halo armor and the figures that I make. So that's just something I've been thinking about. I've had this kit, like I said, for probably two years now, and uh, it's something I still 
want to uh, actually go ahead and build, make instructions for, and sell you guys a full-on kit. So let me know in the comments down below if that interests you. And um, I would love to hear from you guys because I think it would be a very cool kit to sell. And I'd like to get it to that price point where you guys could buy like maybe two of them. So you could do like a big team battle or something and just make it look really cool. But uh, that's the goal. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of that. Make sure you guys check out another video right here and right here. And make sure you guys subscribe right there. I'm posting daily, hopefully throughout the rest of this year, if I don't get tired or if I don't run out of ideas for videos. So, so far, we've been able to do that all the way through January, February, and here we are in March. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow's video. Peace out.